Live from the Ruben Rodriguez Coliseum in Bayamon, Puerto Rico, it's Miss Universe 2001, hosted by El McPherson and Naomi Campbell, and introducing 77 of the world's most beautiful women. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. And welcome to the continent of Puerto Rico. Are you ready? 
<laughs> but it's definitely an honor for me to be here. Ladies and gentlemen, just keep it simple. And now, two of the most beautiful ladies in this planet. We're talking about Elle McPherson and Naomi Campbell. <laughs> So much, Ricky. Bienvenidos, everybody. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to Miss Universe 2001. <laughs> Ever since the delegates arrived, the whole island has played host to one of the biggest celebrations around, the crowning of Miss Universe. Here they are, the 77 international delegates, each dressed in their native costume. the delegates from South America. Argentina, Bolivia, Brazil, Chile, Colombia, Ecuador, Paraguay, Peru, Uruguay, Venezuela. Here are the delegates from Europe. Belgium. Bulgaria. Czech Republic. Estonia. Finland. France. Germany. Hungary. Ireland. Italy. Netherlands. Norway. Poland. Portugal, España, Sweden, Switzerland, Ukraine, Russia. Now, the women of Asia and the South Pacific. India, Japan. Korea, Malaysia, New Zealand, Northern Marianas, Philippines, Singapore, Taiwan, Thailand. Introducing the delegates from the Mediterranean. Egypt, Greece, Israel, Lebanon, Malta, Slovak Republic, Slovenia, Turkey, Yugoslavia. The women from the nations of Africa. Angola, Botswana, Ghana, Nigeria, South Africa, Zimbabwe. Introducing the delegates from North and Central America. Canada. Mexico, USA, Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, Panama. Now, the delegates from the islands of the Caribbean. Antigua and Barbuda, Aruba, the Bahamas, the British Virgin Islands, the Cayman Islands, Curacao, Dominican Republic, Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, Texas and Texas, U.S. Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico.
again when Miss Universe 2001 continues. The announcer you are hearing is Miss Former USA and Miss Universe 1997, Brooke Lee. Our careers have taken us all over the world, and right now we don't have to really go anywhere because we're here. The world's here. Each participating country has selected their very own delegate to represent them in tonight's competition. And earlier this week, a separate panel of judges met with each of the delegates to begin the daunting task of paring down from 77 to a select 10. Now, here are the choices in random order. First up, first up, Spain. Spain's experience as a runway model is in sharp contrast to her upbringing in a small farming village. Next, we have Venezuela. Bilingual in Spanish and English, Venezuela hopes learning additional languages will launch a career in media. Come join us, Nigeria! From a family of eight children, Nigeria is about to enter university to study mathematics and computer science. Israel. The youngest of four siblings, Israel is an accomplished singer, dancer, and championship runner. Halfway there, Greece! A sought after model, Greece is also an artist and painter in the pursuit of a degree in graphic design. Let me see. India! India is currently a VJ for MTV Asia and has been accepted as a pilot into the Indian Air Force. Next, Russia. Last year, Russia realized one of her lifelong dreams when she visited the ancient pyramids and the Sphinx. Our eighth wonder, USA. USA hopes to be a trailblazer for women in the field of broadcasting as a sportscaster or sideline reporter. Two to go, Viva la France! France is currently in nursing school with plans to enter the field of pediatric medicine. And the tenth and final spot goes to... Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico comes from a family of musicians and has been training in dance, voice, and modeling since the age of eight. Don't you? So why don't we go backstage to join behind-the-scenes correspondent Todd Newton. 
All right, thank you, Naomi. Thank you, Al. And how about it, huh? Puerto Rico, it's a good night to be here tonight. Now, if you thought the ovations for Puerto Rico and Ricky Martin were something, let me tell you something, folks. We are just getting started. You can see the lovely delegates making their way back to the dressing room behind me here. And I got to tell you, anticipation for this night has been extremely high. I think it's safe to say that this is the most talked about Miss Universe competition in history. There they go. Now, I, I'm going to be backstage all night tonight bringing you interviews with some of the delegates who have been causing shall we say quite a stir in the last several weeks including Brazil Israel and France there they are they're a lovely pose by Panama come on here comes Bahamas Yugoslavia there they are waving everybody back home the excitement is building backstage on stage and right now we're gonna give you a real insider's look about what it takes to make a night this huge this phenomenal come together I would have to liken this to an Olympics. We've got 77 countries participating. We've got to schedule transportation to every single solitary location. We average anywhere between six to 700 to sometimes up to 1,000 police officers. This country is so excited for this event they come in massive crowds. We have helicopters, we have uh, land vehicles, we have jet skis, we have divers standby, we have bomb dogs. We have a lot of things that go with this problem. So when you're moving this many women, it sometimes gets very difficult. Movement, I think, is, is what we all know is universal. Each country has its own flavor. The key is making them feel comfortable within their own person. The skills come differently, but if they feel comfortable and they're giving their best, then you get the best out of them. We want each girl to be happy in what they're wearing, swimwear, gowns, hundreds of shoes, hundreds of bathing suits. It worries me how they keep their clothes because they end up in piles. What shall we wear today? How do they pick it? Do they just like stick their hand in and look and be like, I'm gonna wear this? The way we pick them to room together is that uh, a lot by their language barriers. The girls are really, really concerned and their style, like, is it hip enough? Is it clean enough? Is it big enough? It takes anywhere from 125 to 200 people, active working staff. That's including the office and the stage crew in general to get a show up on its feet and make it become a live Miss Universe broadcast. There are a lot of things that need to come together in a very short period of time. And you're dealing with people who are only together for the show. So, you know, the challenge and the, the long hours and all pay off when they're on that stage and it works the way it's supposed to. Sizzling sexy swimsuits and more Ricky Martin when Miss Universe 2001 continues here on CBS. El Morro is the oldest fortress in the New World and is at the heart of all someone. Whatever you turn on the island, you're embraced by history. to decide the top five evening gowns and first up the blue point swimsuit competition <laughs> each of our ten to top ten turned up the heat in the videos you're about to see let's meet them on the sands and in the jungle we begin the swimsuit competition with Spain
Venezuela. Tonight, a panel of eight judges will determine who will wear the crown of Miss Universe 2001. Let's meet them. Fashion model, Minnie Anden. Survivor 2 contestant, Kel Gleason. International fashion designer, Mark Bauer. Model, writer, and actress, Veronica Webb. New York Post, page six columnist, Richard Johnson. Spokesperson and former Miss Universe, Dianara Muniz Torres. Top male supermodel, Tyson Beckford. Grammy Award winning recording artist, Mark Anthony. You have a big responsibility, judges. The world is watching. Hey, have you ever gone to a party and realized you're the only one not wearing a swimsuit? It's quite embarrassing. I'm feeling a tad overdressed. Actually, you know what? We're underdressed. Is that the way it is? Yeah, we're underdressed. underdressed. I see. All right. Well, all of our delegates look like they were having a lot of fun there in the swimsuit videos. Now, let me ask you, Sylvania, is it work or is it fun when you're splashing around with all your friends? This is fun, but it's part of work, yeah. Right. It can get, it can get grueling, huh? could get a little chilly. Oh, look at Sweden popping in here. I didn't even see you. Pop I'm so little. Yeah, you are a tiny yeah. one. we got to get you some more of the high heels. Now, did anybody suffer any sunburns or anything there? Well, we didn't actually get much chance to go out, so no Good. sunburn. No. Everybody's all right. Well, I tell you what, we're loving the swimsuit videos, and right now, we're going to see what happens when we turn the cameras around. There are worse ways to make a living than doing what I do. Not very often do you get to say, I'm surrounded by the most beautiful women in the world, and it's true. My first delegate comes in, I say, action. I look in the monitor, and she lights the setup, and I'm, I am now on fire. When I see that shot, that's what I love. When the delegates took over the beaches here in Puerto Rico, it really turned into a global summit in the sand. Now let's go back to the swimsuit competition and Nigeria. All our swimsuit delegates are wearing shoes by Stuart Weitzman. Let's continue the competition with Miss Israel.
winners Lele and Ricky Martin in an up close moment with France. Bella Bonita, Magnifica, Estupenda. No matter which way you say it, we're all talking about the same thing, beautiful. The competition continues. Here is Greece. You know, you really can't help but notice there that a lot of the delegates are doing the El McPherson swimsuit stroll. Did you notice that? Now, we've been here for a while, El. Have you had much chance to throw your suit on? And Listen, Todd, you know what it's been like here. They've had us working so hard, and uh, it's so cold here, I wouldn't be caught dead in a swimsuit. Right, but it's a, it's a big island. There's lots to do. Have you had much time to get out and do a no, little... No, I've been here the whole time. You know that. Yeah, well, I've been shopping. Working and shopping. It's beautiful. What's your favorite part about Puerto Rico? There's so much going on. The Latin men. <laughs> it's true. And Ricky Martin. Okay. And right. the art. Okay, that And the food. Better. We like the, the food. food. We like the food. The food is good. Well, you know, I've had a chance to do a little exploring myself. And, El, did you know that the waters here in Puerto Rico are teeming with all kinds of sea life? I mean, you have your squid, your sharks, those big barracuda. Oh, yeah. Oh, my dear. Well, it's almost as diverse as the International Assembly of Delegates, which includes, I don't know, we have teachers, mm -hmm. politicians, MBAs. I think we even have a race car driver. I think we do. And as different as they are, they've managed to have a great time together in just about every corner of the island, and not surprisingly in the water this is how we stay in shape at the beach <laughs> So who won? We won! <laughs> Thank you. 
The Miss Universe competition gives young women from all over the world a great opportunity to make a personal statement, and in some cases, a political statement. Now, earlier this week, I caught up with Israel, who had planned to wear a bulletproof vest, but decided against it, so I asked her why. Uh, at first, it was an idea of the um, designer that I agree with her to publish the, um, the new fashion of her. But uh, after a while, I uh, thought I, I want to uh, publicity uh, because of me and not because of my country or my dress. Uh, this is my competition. Uh, I'm the delegate, not anybody else. You know, we all have important personal statements to make. Uh, as a matter of fact, I even have one. I'm wearing this rented tuxedo on behalf of every man around the world who's watching the pageant tonight who has ever wanted to rent a tuxedo and be backstage at Miss Universe. This is for you guys. Three more delegates to meet in the swimsuit competition. But first, here to perform our key, please welcome Grammy Award winners, Lale.
so. You think it's easy modeling swimsuits? Listen, I have worn thousands in photo shoots on the beach and on the runway, and you know what? I never did get used to it. <laughs> but our delegates make it look effortless. Let's meet USA. Not only is he one of the nicest guys in the world, but he's also one of the luckiest. Mark Anthony. I gotta say, you're a best-selling recording artist and you're married to a former Miss Universe. Life is good, isn't it? Absolutely, it doesn't get much better than this. Now I gotta tell you, we had to keep you two separated, Dianara. We didn't want any cheating here. How does it, <laughs> it feels good to be back in Puerto Rico? Absolutely. I think my experience was a great experience, a great honor. And to be back in Puerto Rico and celebrate the 50th anniversary has been the proudest. I couldn't be happier. All right. We, of course, have Big Tyson in the middle to make sure no monkey business happens here in the front row. Okay. I tell you what we're going to do now, folks. We're going to meet the final delegate in the top ten, Puerto Rico.
Chris Milan. Ed and I have worked with many designers. Jet setting is a big part of the Miss Universe competition. And whoever gets the crown will spend the entire year traveling the globe. It's not easy being away from home. And some of our delegates have ventured out out of their native country for the very first time. Yeah, but homesick or not, it didn't take long for everyone to jump in and start enjoying the best of Puerto Rico. From the Camoy Caves to the El Yonqui Rainforest, the delegates have enjoyed the island's pleasures beyond the beach. Are you ready for adventure? Yeah. We're going to make a small trip today. Like tight, goes from the top to the bottom. Mm -hmm. I've learned to have listened. <laughs> uh -huh. I wanted to go fast, very fast. <laughs> we are at Lacoca like Falls. I want to go there. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, I love this country. <laughs> I want to stay here forever. <laughs> We're the Yuki, the rainforest, and we're about to repel 40 plus, possibly 100 more feet. Oh my god! That was good. For the next part of the competition, the delegates have borrowed a thing or two from the world of fashion. Some will be wearing gowns up from today's top designers. And others will be dressed in creations by fashion leaders from their nati native countries. We present to you now the evening gown competition.
anniversary of the Miss Universe competition and right now I'm surrounded by five former crown winners we have Mexico Puerto Rico Finland and two ladies from Venezuela right now real quickly tell me about your thoughts of tonight's show the 50th anniversary well it's just uh, bringing back so many memories and just enjoying the show it's very exciting to be the hosting city Puerto Rico is the center of the universe and we're very proud to have all these beautiful women join themselves as sisters in this spirit of competition. I'm really excited to be uh, taking part at one of the greatest gala events in the world. It is wonderful. How about Venezuela? A winner Miss Universe has a lifetime experience and it's forever. It's a great moment and now I am mother, I have a son and I have to tell him that to be Miss Universe is not up in the stars, it's in reality and it's discipline and hard work. It's right here in Puerto Rico. Also, it's wonderful because right now we're celebrating the 50th anniversary of this universe. And it's a great moment to be all together and celebrate that without all the dishonor to be here in Puerto Rico. I think right. it's going to be the wonderful Miss Universe. I think you're right. And as you all know, ladies, one thing that's never changed about Miss Universe is the rule that in order to compete, you have to be a woman. 
Now, if you've been following the rumor mill, you've probably been a little curious about one particular delegate who's caused some to wonder, shall we say. And earlier this week, I had a chance to speak with the 100% woman at the center of it all, France. Is there anything you want to say to the world that you haven't said already? Is there anything that you want to address and say, wait a minute, I was never a man. Look at me, I'm a beautiful woman, I'm I a delegate. I was never a man. I am 100% natural. No one chose you. Me party. too. Oh. Me both of us, 100% natural. <laughs> Well, it really is a challenge for any of the delegates to keep their focus under all the pressure that surrounds a night like this, but it's great practice for the winner. Moments after getting the crown, the new Miss Universe will face an international press conference with over 100 journalists. And now the part of the evening that separates the women from, well, the other women. Only five fabulous females will continue to compete for the title of Miss Universe 2001. So here they are in random order. First up, India. Next we have Venezuela. And the lucky one will soon wear the crown and, Naomi, enjoy the honor of being represented by a pin here in the official Miss Universe Globe. Well, how official is it, Toss? Okay, official might be a, a bad word, a poor choice of words. These are actually okay, pins well. I found in the bottom of my suitcase here. But they all represent the winning nations of the past 50 years. And it's interesting because you see USA seven. has seven. Right, right. And then uh, you go over here to Venezuela. They're in second place. They've won four times. Wow. Right. And I know you're... And what about Great Britain? Yeah, you're from Great Britain, right? Let's yeah. look over well, here. Yeah, my country. Yeah, uh, zero. You yeah. don't have... Thank you. Yeah, you don't have any. And Morocco. But Morocco, you do Morocco. love... Morocco. Yeah, they don't have any pins. And they crowns? don't have any pins no either. Pins? No, okay. no, no crowns or pins. But I see yeah. Puerto Rico's like had three title holders, mm -hmm. and they deserve an extra pin for being a great, unique host country, don't you? I think you're right. Let's give it up for Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is made up of three different cultures, uh, which is uh, the Taino Indian, the African, and the Spanish. The blending of these things has, has created our own style. It's, it's a very Puerto Rican style, which comes out in our music, our art, uh, our dance, and it makes us very, very Puerto Rican. Sorry, Puerto Ricanos. You know, Puerto Rico is definitely overflowing with art and creativity, and folks, as if you needed more proof, here once again is Ricky, Ricky Martin! Yes, sir.
Coming up, it's time to face the judges as we get closer to Miss Universe 2001 here on CBS. We're down to the final five, and we're getting closer to crowning Miss Universe 2001. To help make this decision, the judges, remaining delegates, will be asking questions so we can get to know them a lot better. Ladies, you only have 35 questions to answer, so if you hear the bell, you know why. Okay, India, please join me. Please reach in, pick out. Judge number three, Mark Bauer, question please. What motivates you and why? The biggest motivating force in life is your inner self. I, me, myself motivates myself every day because if you can't motivate yourself, nothing ever can. The biggest motivating factor in life is you yourself. Thank you. How would you best describe your family? Uh, could you please repeat the question? I How didn't would you hear. best describe your family? Well, I come from a nuclear family, a very loving and disciplined environment because uh, my parents come from the army and uh, a loving nuclear family. Thank you, India. <laughs> Venezuela. Okay. Take your lucky shot. Judge number eight, Mark Anthony, your question, please. If you could invite one famous person, living or dead, to a dinner party, who would it be and why? It would definitely be the Dalai Lama because, first of all, my father is a Buddhist and I have learned a lot of Buddhism uh, practices through him. And as a matter of fact, today I am a Buddhist and I would like to know a lot about how he keeps this eternal peace, which is so incredible and to teach the whole world there, obviously. 
How would you let a man know that you were attracted to him? I think that he would notice right away just by the way I look at him at his eyes and I would definitely smile. I think he would just get the cash right there. Thank you, Venezuela. Thank you. Puerto Rico. Dig in. Judge number seven, Tyson Beckford, your question, please. What is the most important thing in life to you? The most important thing for me in life is just to be the best that I can be. Each day grow as a human being, be beautiful inside as well as outside. Just give the best of myself to others and project all the love and spirit of God through me to others. What is the biggest misconception about beauty? I didn't hear you, sorry. <laughs> what is the biggest misconception about beauty? I think the biggest misconception about beauty is just trying to find beauty in the outside of the person. You have to go deep in the soul of that person to find true beauty. Thank you, Puerto Rico! Okay, Greece! Take your shot. Thank you. Judge number six, your question please, Dianara. Aside from winning your title, what was the best day of your life? The question is, Εκτός από το που κερδίσατε το τίτλο σας, ποιο είναι το πιο ανθρώπινο πράγμα, πράγμα που έχει γίνει στη ζωή σας; Well, I believe that uh, besides winning my title, the best thing uh, that happened in my life was uh, being part and volunteer in a team that helped the people that were um, injured from the earthquake that held in uh, that hit Athens in 1999 it was a uh, soulful and enriching uh, for my soul experience and uh, i love that i would i was able to help people that were in need and especially children thank you very much and what are you most afraid of ke pifo vasas pifo vasas to perisotero well, I'm trying not to be afraid of something. I'm uh, just being myself. I believe in myself. And uh, I'm just... Thank you, Greece. Thank you. Okay, USA. We have a name. Judge number two, Hel Gleason, your question, please. If you were stranded on a desert island, what one thing would you bring with you and why? I would definitely take a photo album because my friends and family are so important in my life and I would want to be able to remember them even though they wouldn't be with me. Tell us, tell us something about your country that most people don't know. Wow, I think one of the things that, that most people don't know is that Americans, we love to, to bring people into our country. We, we love welcoming people. I live in New York and we have a lot of tourists and I, I think that's something that most people don't know, that we really welcome tourists. Thank you, USA. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Some of tonight's delegates are using precision translating services. Coming up, the final question as Miss Universe 2001 continues. Now we take a moment for a little award ceremony within the competition. The, recipi the recipients of these awards will also, will also win the Hoya Crystal Trophy. First, Miss Congeniality voted on by all of the delegates for the one who is the most simpatica. This year's Miss Congeniality is Bahamas! The clip.
Feral Herbal Essences Style Award goes to the delegate with the best overall presentation of personal style with an emphasis on healthy hair. Earlier this week, Clairo held a special competition. And the winner of the Herbal Essences Style Award is... Puerto Rico. Congratulations, Puerto Rico. You know, not only will tonight's winner walk away with the crown and a very prestigious title, but she will also walk away with a trunk full of great prizes. And here to give you a special look at those prizes is the reigning Miss Universe, Laura Dutta. Clairol Herbal Essences awards Miss Universe $10,000 in a supply of shampoos, conditioners, stylers, body wash and lotion. Herbal Essences is specially formulated with all natural botanicals and organic herbs in pure mountain spring water. Clairol Herbal Essences, a totally organic experience. Mickey Moto, the originator of cultured pearls since 1893 and the official jeweler of the Miss Universe pageant proudly presents this year's winner with a radiant cultured pearl and diamond necklace and a $1,000 cash prize. Miss Universe receives a $3,000 cash prize and an exotic swimwear collection from Blue Point Swim, the official swimwear of the Miss Universe pageant. Blue Point is proud to be the sponsor of the swimsuit competition. Maurice Lacroix, Tomorrow's Classics, maker of fine Swiss timepieces and the official watch of the Miss Universe pageant, proudly presents this year's winner with a stunning diamond and steel watch from the Intuition Collection. Famous shoe designer Stuart Weitzman presents a specially created Miss Universe shoe along with footwear from his collection. Coming up, the final question and the crown on Miss Universe 2001. Well, this is it, the point of no return. The top five delegates will be asked the same question, the very one I hold here in my hand. And remember, you have only 35 seconds before you hear the bell. We begin with, we begin with India, so will the other delegates step over to the listening station and put on the earphones so you don't hear the question? Can you hear me? Okay, I think this is going to work. India, here is your final question. If you had to change one thing about your past, what would that be? Well, in the past, there was a time when I was bedridden and I was very ill. It took me almost a year to get back on my feet and start walking again. And I missed out a lot in my life. I missed out on the most important years of my life. And if I could change anything about my past, it would be that period of my life. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you, India. Venezuela. Here is your final question. If you had to change one thing about your past, what would that be? One thing about my past? Well, definitely I would not choose anything at all because I am very happy the way I have lived my life up till now. And because the person that I am now is what has, the past has done to me, so I would be completely different and I wouldn't be proud of who I am. Thank you. Thank you, Venezuela. Puerto Rico. Here is your final question. If you had to change one thing about your past, what would that be? I'm trying really to find something that I wouldn't I wouldn't want to pass that in the past, but I've really enjoyed all my life, 
all the good opportunities that I've had. And all those not good that moments, but they've helped me to grow. And I've enjoyed all my life thoroughly. And I thank God for each step that he's given me. I have, I have no regrets. <laughs> thank you, Puerto Rico. Greece. Here is your final question. If you had to change one thing about your past, what would that be? Η τελευταία ερώτηση είναι αν είχετε την ευκαιρία να αλλάξετε κάτι που έχει βγει στο παρελθόν σας, τι θα ήταν αυτό; Well, even though I make mistakes in the past, I try to overcome them. And uh, I don't think it, it would be something I would like to change in my past because, you know, you're learning from your past, so you don't make the same mistakes in the future. That's why I love the, the things that I did and my mistakes. And I'm trying to be the best on the future. Thank you, Green. Thanks, Tom. And USA. Here is your final question. If you had to change one thing about your past, what would that be? Actually, I wouldn't change anything about my past. I actually have been through quite a bit of adversity in my life. My parents have been divorced and various other adversities, but I think they have made me the person I am today, and I believe that is a strong, independent woman, and I'm very thankful for that. Thank you, USA. You all did a great job, ladies. Now it's in the hand of the judges, who will rank the delegates in order of their personal choice. In other words, who, in their minds, will make the best Miss Universe. All right, this is it. The judges are now making their final decisions. They're doing it at this very moment. Now, Laura, you know exactly what this is like. There's nothing more the girls can say. There's nothing more they can do. This competition is over. What's going through their minds right now? It's hard. They're probably really nervous. And, you know, they're reviewing their answers. They're wondering if they left something out, if there's something else that they wanted to say. But I think they did an excellent job. Now, this moment is probably still fresh in your mind. It was just a year ago. You were right here. How did you deal with it? You know, I was really, really nervous. But it's important about being in the moment, focusing, keeping your mind open to listen to the question, and then giving out your answer from your gut. And I think that really counts. All right. Fair enough. I know they must be holding their collective breath back there on the stage so let's send it back that way here they are once again the five finalists we'll be right back with the one that captures the crown Well, it's been quite a night, and we couldn't have done this without the help of some very gracious people. Please give us a big thank you to the Governor of Puerto Rico, the Honorable Sila Maria Calderon. <laughs> Secretary of Economic Development, the Honorable Ramon Contero Frau. The Mayor of Bayamon, the Honorable Raymond Luis Rivera, Jr. <laughs> Executive Director of the Puerto Rico Tourism Company, Mr. Jorge Pesquera. <laughs> and the co-owner, along with CBS, of the Miss Universe organization, Donald Trump. And now Lara Dotta will take her final walk as the reigning Miss Universe. What a journey this has been. A year filled with emotions, learning, friendship and growth. From meeting presidents to working with children with AIDS, this experience has changed my entire perspective on life. So many people have given me so much strength, inspiration, and the gift of dreams answered. I thank everyone at the Miss Universe organization, the face-to-face -face campaign, and the United Nations, as well as the Harvard AIDS Institute for supporting my work with HIV AIDS. Thank you to Susie, Jake, and Kristen for being my angels, and Terry and Linda for being my friends, philosophers, and guides. To my country and its people for their warmth and love, 
to my parents, you are my inspiration and I love you. I stood with faith in my maker a year ago. I stand with him now and thank him for his blessing as I pass along a wonderful gift to a new Miss Universe. the moment we've all been waiting for. Thank you, Mark Ward, of the accounting firm Ernst & Young. I have in my hand the name of the woman who will be crowned Miss Universe 2001. The fourth runner-up for Miss Universe 2001 is India. is Venezuela. The second runner-up is USA. Oh my God. Oh my God. If, if for any reason the new Miss Universe cannot fulfill her duties, the first runner-up will take over. The first runner-up is... Greece! And so this new Miss Universe! 2001! In Puerto Rico! delegates from around the world to the beautiful island of Puerto Rico.